Then they bear it upwards, and whenever they ask, it's, it's past a company of angels, they ask, who is this good soul? And the angels with the soul reply, so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, using the best names by which the person used to be called in the world. They bring him to the lowest heaven and ask for the gate to be opened for him. It is opened for him, and angels who are near Allah from each of the heavens accompany him to the subsequent heaven until he reaches to the heaven where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, in other words, beyond the, the, uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, register the book of my slave in the Illiyin and take them back to the earth. I created them from it, I return them to it, and I will bring them forth from it. His soul is then returned to his body, and two angels come to him. They make him sit up and say to him, this is Munkar and Nikhir, the two angels in the grave. Uh, who is your Lord, Man Rabbuk? He replies, my Lord is Allah. He asks, what is your deed? What is your deen? What is your religion? Ma dinuk? And this, he says, my religion is Islam. He says, who is this man who is sent amongst you? He says that that is a prophet of Allah. They ask him, how did you come to know these things? He replies, I read the book of Allah. I believed in it and it declared to be true. Then a voice from the high declares, my slave has spoken the truth. So spread out the cartons, uh, uh, spread out the carpets from the garden for him and open a gate of the garden for him. Then some of the fragrance and perfume comes to him. His grave is expanded for him as far as the eye can see. And a man with beautiful garments, with fragrant scent comes to him and says, Rejoice in what delights you, for this is the day which you were promised. He asks, Who are you, your face uh, which proceeds good? He, say, he replies, I am your good actions. Then he says, O Lord, let the last hour come soon so that I may rejoice uh, with my family and property. That's for a good person. The hadith says for a, an unbeliever, uh, what happens is when the unbeliever is about to pass away, then the the angel the angel death comes, and angels with black faces descend from the heavens, carrying rough hair cloth and sit around him in throngs stretching as far as the eye can see. The angel of death comes and sits at the head, and says, "Fell soul, come out to the wrath and anger of Allah." Then his soul divides up in his body and is dragged out like a skewer is pulled out from wet wool. Then the angel takes hold of it. When he's grasped it, the other angels do not leave it in his hand even for the twinkling of an eye. They take it and wrap it in a rough hair cloth and stench comes out of it like the worst stench of a corpse on the face of the earth. Then they take it up and whenever they ask, uh, whenever they pass it, a company, whenever they pass a company of angels, they ask, who is this foul soul? And the angels with the soul reply, so and so and the son of so and so, using the worst names of which the, pe the people used to call him in the world. They bring him to the lowest heaven and ask for the gate to be opened and it is not opened. The message Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then recited, the gates of heaven will not be opened to them, nor will they enter the garden until the camel passes through the needle, the eye of the needle. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, register in his book, him in the book of Sajin, in the lowest earth. Then the soul is flung down. The Prophet then recited, whoever associates anything with Allah, it is as if 